This video talks about the difference between bladder rupture versus pancreatitis. Now, in first glance, the two problems look like they're going to be very different and we really don't have to be able to differentiate between the two. But this was a particular question when I did it for the first time. I confused uh, bladder rupture for pancreatitis, so I thought maybe it's a good idea to talk about it. So let's go ahead and look in the question right away. So whenever I do a question, the first thing I do is read the last sentence to find out what they're really asking um, in this vignette. So the last sentence says, what is the diagnosis? So that's obvious to us that we have to find the diagnosis of this particular vignette. So this is a 50-year-old man who was brought into the ER with severe abdominal pain after motor vehicle collision. Vitals are normal. Physical exam shows extreme tenderness of the abdomen. X-rays are inconclusive. A peritoneal lavage yields straw-colored fluid. Chemical analysis of the lavage shows low protein, low bilirubin, and MLS content, few RBC, and high ammonia content. Now, what is the diagnosis? So, in this question, I was thinking that this person had a motor vehicle collision, so there was trauma, and there was extreme tenderness of the abdomen, followed by the fact that there was amylase in the vignette. I jumped to the jumped to the uh, the wrong diagnosis of it being acute pancreatitis because trauma with tenderness of the abdomen and amylase can indicate towards pancreatitis. But what I did not take into account is that pancreatitis can be easily confused with other, um, other, other kind of scenarios. One of them is bladder rupture. A peptic ulcer can also um, present itself as, 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 as pancreatitis. So that was the mistake I made. So let's look more clear, carefully into the question to see where are the clues to be able to differentiate differentiate between the two. One of the big clues was the fact that the amylase content was low. It says low bilirubin and amylase content. In, um, in a specific case of pancreatitis, amylase and lipase would be three times higher than normal. So the amylase content is not going to be low. It's going to be very, very high. And also, um, just because it has MLS, now we know that MLS is also found in urine um, because this is actually directing towards the point that this MLS is present in the urine which is spilled onto the peritoneum when there was bladder rupture. Other scenarios which can also represent themselves as pancreatitis are uh, diabetic ketoacidosis, um, cholecystitis, uh, bowel infarction, all those can also mimic itself as pancreatitis. Now, since it's not low, it's not high amylase and it's low amylase, we know that it's not pancreatitis. So now let's see why this was um, bladder rupture. Well, there is extreme tenderness of the abdomen um, and a peritoneal lavage yields straw colored fluid, which was big clue. Uh, pointing towards bladder rupture because urine would be straw-colored fluid. Chemical analysis of the, bil of the lavage shows low protein, low bilirubin and amylase co content, few RBC and high ammonia content. This high ammonia content was another big clue that this is actually urine and not uh, any kind of fluid that is being released from the pancreas. And whenever we're talking about pancreatitis, it's usually confirmed with the fact that um, it is usually confirmed with an ultrasound or a CT scan. So in a CT scan, you're usually, let's say this is the abdominal CT scan, you're going to kind of see the pancreas sticking out like that. I'm not bothering with other structures. And what we're going to see here is if this whole thing was supposed to be dark because pancreas comes out, you know, let's say this is how it should look like on an abdominal CT scan. 
what you are going to see if there is possible pancreatitis is that it's going to be spotty so you're going to see even lighter regions which is which already have we have here you're going to see lighter regions like this in the pancreas which is showing calcification in the pancreas which is a big sign of pancreatitis so this is the best diagnostic and confirmatory test for pancreatitis.